hello everyone welcome to this video if you're new to this channel my name is moyo and you're so welcome to she bites i make videos all about food faith and lifestyle and today we're going to be making dambunama dambunama is a is from the northern part of nigeria it is a kind of spiced meat floss and it is so delicious so we're going to be starting off with some beef this is already boiled beef so i'm going to cook it for like 30 minutes less than if we're using fresh beef i'm adding some salt and then you're going to boil it boil it boil it for like two hours two to three hours until it's extremely soft in the meantime we're going to prepare our aromatics i'm using um cameroon pepper that is this orange pepper ginger and some shombo peppers that's like pointed peppers or you could also use ataro dough or scotch bonnet i like to pound it just because it makes a nice um coarse rough mixture you could also blend it blend it roughly in your blender that is fine as well just keep pounding if you're pounding adding the peppers gradually until you have a nice coarse paste i also added some salt here because it makes it easier to pound because it destroys the cell wall of the peppers of the things you're pounding you could also add garlic onions if you would like as well so as i said before you're going to boil your meat very very well until it's nice and soft you're going to see as i'm pounding now it just took like two strong pounds to completely break this meat apart that's how easy you want it to be so you can have your nice meat floss you see that this second piece of meat wasn't as soft as you would like so you need to make sure that all of them are cooked until they're really really soft and then you want to pound it until you have this nice smooth fluffy meat floss consistency You need to make sure that you put enough seasoning, enough, enough pepper, ginger, salt, stock cubes if you want because as you cook this, as the water evaporates, it also makes the flavor less available when you eat it. So it's kind of, it reduces the flavor intensity when you dry it. So you're going to do this, the drying in a completely dry pan. You don't need any oil on a medium to high heat. You don't want to put on a high heat because you don't want it to burn before it dries completely. So you're just going to keep stirring it, keep pressing it apart to separate any ones that have stuck together due to moisture. Just keep moving it around in the pan until it is nice and dry. And this probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes per batch. You don't want to put too much in the pan at a time, otherwise it's going to take a longer time. With the amount of meat I had here, I did this in two batches. So you guys can see that this is a lot of work. When next you want to buy Dambu, but I say thank you. Thank you to the person that is making it for you because it is a lot, a lot of work. You can also make this with chicken it's actually much easier with chicken because chicken cooks faster it gets soft more quickly and is much easier to pound so if you don't have energy to be pounding meat do the chicken one instead this is what it looks like at the end of the day you want it to be dry but you don't want to allow it to burn dambu is an amazing snack i remember growing up loving looking forward to the time when someone would come back from abuja and bring dambu nama for me and now making it at home so i hope you try out this recipe in your own kitchen i hope you enjoy it if you do tag me on instagram let me know in the comment section what you think and i'll see you guys in my next video before we're done i just want to say a massive thank you to my friend fatima and her mom for teaching me how to make this it's amazing like i love it so i love being able to make it at home i'm super super grateful Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, click that like button and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video because you don't want to be missing more recipes like this, right? No, no you don't. <laughs> Thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. A spatula was harmed in the production of this video. <laughs> <laughs>